All right, here we are again today. We're going to be talking about basic fractions. Now, this is the basics of basic of fra basics of fractions and and different parts of fractions. What make up the fractions? Now, we've been covering this before. We've seen this basically all year. We've been doing this, and so this should be somewhat of a review. So. Hopefully you remember all of that and this will be easier for you, but we will see if you are having difficulty, we are going to take this step by step to help you out. So now get out your notes and in your notes, you're going to take these, you're going to take this down. So the first thing you're going to have is basic fractions. That is the title. Now, the first part of your notes, you need to talk about what, what is the makeup of the fraction. Now you have the top one, which is the numerator, and then the bottom one, which is the denominator, and I always think of denominator because it is the part of the whole. And if you want to come up with the definitions, we have we have numerator. It is the number of parts we are looking for, and a lot of times it'll be like the number shaded, or it could be how many objects, or we've seen it before in target math is, you know, how many out of this number of coins, how many number of coins, what fraction is that? And so we've seen this several times. Now, so the numerator is the num number on top. The denominator is the, the number on the bottom. And generally, it is the larger number, but as you'll see today, it is not always a larger number. And we will get into more of that in our next lesson. So let's go ahead and so if you've written this down, numerator, number of parts we are looking for, denominator, denominator, the total number of equal parts. So let's go ahead and move our shade on down and we can scroll on down here to our next section. If you need to pause, you can. So let's look at this. We look at this, we see the numerator is or the parts of the whole. So let's see what part is shaded. So let's see here we have, we have our one part is shaded. So we have one part shaded and then we have and then we have the total number of blocks here to make up a whole unit. This is the whole right here. So this is one section whole and there's three parts are in our total. So three parts. So if we see this, it would be the number shaded. So you can just put shaded here. So there's one shaded. And then we have over our denominator, which is the total total number of sections and that make up a whole unit. Now this isn't always going to be the case. So let's look at a, a situation where it's not always going to be the bigger number. So let's look at let's look at, come bring this down some more. We'll scroll down. And if we see here, this is a little bit different. So we see we have something a little different. Now are how many shaded do we have? One, two, three, four. So four are shaded. And this is where it kind of tricks people up because how many are still in a total? One. We still have one, two, three in the total. So this is this is an improper fraction, right? And we're going to cover that more in our next lesson. But this is we have four shaded and we have three in each total. So we have more than one whole completely shaded. All right. So this is what this would see the number of shaded and then the number that make up a total. So the total number here. And so that's what we're going to look at. Now you also might see this say on a number line. So let's go ahead and see what this would look like on a number line. Now you should have this in your notes. So if you don't have this, if you need to pause it, go ahead and pause it but this is what your notes should look like. Make your notes look like my notes. So let's go on down here and see what it would look like on a number line, fractions on a number line. All right, let's say that we are starting on perhaps zero and we're going to one whole, one whole total here. All right, and we want to know what this fraction, what fraction would this dot be? This would be, let's see, we have one, two, three, four parts. Four parts make up the total, so there'd be four parts total. And this is on the first one. This one would be two, 
fourths, because it's two fourths. And this one would be three fourths. Now, if you notice, these are all different. This one could also be considered zero over four, if you wanted to put that like that. And this one is the same as saying four fourths. And the reason it's one is because you have four of them are all accounted for on this one. So four out of four, and that equals one whole. All right, so you have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths, or zero, one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, and one. And one fourth would be the number that would be shaded. So this is how you can see fractions on a number line. Now we've seen decimals on a number line, so this is fractions on a number line. Now this this is kind of now if there are three dots here, or no, there are three dashes, and you had three parts, one, two, three, it would be thirds instead. But since there are four, one, two, three, four, it is going to be one fourth or going up by fourths. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a different situation in which the fractions on the number line have go past one because you will probably see this today and hint, hint so let's see here if we put we put this per se we put this as this is zero again and we have this as one and this would be two so now our fractions are going to look a little different. So we'll have, these are how many in parts? So I wouldn't put 8 here because this is a whole here. Right there, that is a whole. So we are going still going up by 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths between each whole number. So we have our whole number. So this one would be 1 fourth. This one would be 2 fourths. This one will be three-fourths. And remember we saw this was this was um, this was equal to also four-fourths. So you could have this with four-fourths. And this one could be five-fourths. This one could be six-fourths. This one could be seven-fourths. Six a little bit better. I may have made that worse. Six fourths. All right, and this one could be eight fourths. Now, with today's purposes, this is what we're going to look at something like this. Now, like most time you'll see these can also be one or one and one fourth. This would be one and two fourths. This would be one and three fourths. And this could be 2. So now we are going to see it. Well, let's concentrate on this way today. So we're going to concentrate on just looking at it like these. So 1 fourths, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, and 8 fourths. And again, this is improper fraction because the bigger number is on top. It doesn't follow the normal rule. But today, that's what we're looking at, and we'll go on more into the detail about this today. All right, so we have, we do have a lesson for you, so you're going to complete page 513, but I do want to see your notes before you start that, so I want to make sure that you are taking your notes down. So before you start page 513, you're going to go ahead and show me these. All right, go ahead and try this out.